Over the summer, Rabbi Rosenthal and Marissa Hochberg pulled me aside and asked if I'd be interested in helping a group of fifth and sixth graders redesign the Central Synagogue High Holiday Mahzor for the family service. We started off by recruiting kids we thought would be interested. We uh, got our cantorial intern, Shani Ben Or, on board, and we started off the year by reflecting on what it was that they've meant to us so far these high holidays. What do you think is holiness? If you had to give me a definition. We handed out each of them their very own machsor, the, the old version so they could see what had been done before. And then we just dove right in. Um, we, as a class and in, in small groups, uh, would start sort of mini units of prayer study. We'd look at each of the prayers in the machsor and try to understand what they meant. And after we could sort of grapple with the meaning of the prayer, then the kids got to work to figure out how they could make those prayers more accessible to a wider population, particularly to younger kids. Can you read it to me? Okay. In this new year, may we plant new seeds and replenish the old. So after studying a prayer, we then entered more of a workshop phase where the students could rewrite translations, they could create artwork or discussion questions and then we would enter more of a feedback cycle where the students could share the work that they'd produced and hear feedback from their classmates. Got it. Um, I love the idea. As we studied the prayers, we, we took from our own tradition and created what we called Talmud pages for these prayers to better understand the content, the meaning, the intention that might be behind them. And so for every prayer that we studied, we pasted it in the center of a giant colorful piece of paper. We had different opportunities to have guest speakers. We had Abby Pogerbin come in to talk about what it means to write about the high holidays. It's a pretty powerful thing that you are creating a prayer book. What would you want? What would invite you in? As you decide what words you want to use to invite someone into this holiday. We had Cantor Mutlu and Cantor Kadreen come in to help out with prayer analysis and helping us connect with prayers in different ways. But the idea was that this group would focus mainly on the prayers that have to do with High Holidays, and a little bit also on other prayers that are like morning prayers that are kind of also um, fun and very creative. And now as we're coming to the end of the year, they have put together an amazing prayer book. They have touched so many of these prayers and put their own personal ideas and feelings and thoughts into this prayer book and I'm so, so excited to see its final product, to see it in the hands of our congregants, uh, but luckily not nearly as excited as the kids are. I'm really excited to see that it's going to be a book that kids made and kids are going to read it. It's not other people made it. People inside the community made this book. It was really fun seeing all the work we did at the end and also interviewing third graders was really cool. I'm excited to see the new designs that we put in because it's not like the old one. There are some pictures. I think I'm most proud of just the entire thing and how we got it together. I'll probably remember like actually like sitting down and reading all the prayers and like writing down what we felt about it and then putting together like an actual page for it and designing that will probably be very something that I'll remember. It's been inspiring to see how committed our students are to this process and how much it means to them and how much they really want to make something that's beautiful and meaningful and that will last beyond them and just how invested they are that they want to come to LCLJ every week, that they're ready to dive in and that they've spread that excitement to their parents and to their families and that they just can't wait. They're like bursting with pride um, at how excited they are to see what will happen on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur this coming year. This Maso project is critically important for shaping our family high holiday experience and our family high holiday experience is kind of the experience for the vast majority of our kids here at Central and it is their gateway and their entry point into these incredibly important holidays that we have and I think it's going to change their experience to have this new Maxor. One sweet memory is working with all my peers. 
One sweet memory is when all the boys work together on a single, on a single turn. Um, one sweet memory, oh, when we did the photograph with the Torah. That was great. <laughs> um, one sweet memory was when we got to paint all of the instruments. One sweet memory was when we got to see like the first draft of the whole thing put together. Um, uh, one sweet memory that I had was, um, ooh, so many, um, I guess, um, when, like a few weeks ago when we were looking at the final book. Mm -hmm. Um, cool. one sweet memory I had was when we got to paint the Um, one sweet memory was when we, um, presented it to the <laughs> Charlotte can't talk to me. <laughs> But she's thinking of a sweet memory, right? And if she really wants, she can email us at Stigma. I do. You could want it. Okay. Um, a sweet memory for me, um, I think it's the, the holiness thing that we did with the pictures. And a sweet memory for me was when you guys all presented to your parents and to the clergy. And it was so, so cool to hear you speak about what you learned and about this process and to like see how much you've really gotten to do. Um, that was really special for me and I was very proud as your teacher.